Hello friends, this is Nifty Analysis for the day 16th of March 2022. Last two days, the market was very uh, volatile and it was very interesting uh, moves that the market has made. Uh, especially with uh, regards to the bank Nifty that we were speaking about, uh, it is not giving us an opportunity to go short. Uh, it so happened that last two days there was a heavy uh, buying witnessed in uh, banking stocks and banking sector as a whole. Uh, probably uh, trying to uh, forecast or uh, prejudge the outcome of uh, the Fed meeting that is lined up uh, for today. Maybe based on that, uh, we, we, we would have seen volatile moves uh, with regards to the bank nifty uh, any of let's start with the nifty analysis first uh, we were speaking about on monday that uh, we need to take a shot uh, approximately at uh, 16800 uh, keeping the stop loss at 16850 it so happened that on monday the move was so volatile and sharp that we have breached uh, 16,850 and uh, that is the reason why we have given a uh, uh, stop loss even on the basis of uh, the intraday basis at uh, 16,875. The logic was very simple that uh, we were not anticipating uh, such a sharp move uh, on uh, Monday and uh, we were expecting a failure of breach of this particular channel so breakout of this particular channel was not uh, uh, anticipated now it so happened that uh, we had a very sharp uh, closing on monday taking out the stop loss and uh, tuesday again uh, we had a similar kind of start however it um, ultimately didn't materialize and we started falling back into the channel now, you, now the observation is pretty easy that this is the only candle that is going to be the reference candle for next two days so whichever side they are we are going to get a close of this particular candle is going to be the trend decider ideally we have uh, today and uh, tomorrow friday being a holiday and uh, both these days are going to be more volatile in nature because of the Fed uh, event as well as the other geopolitical news still in place. So it's going to be very volatile. And uh, we are still sticking up uh, with the analysis that uh, during the last uh, week or the next two weeks are going to be uh, bearish in terms of the nifty is concerned so we are still sticking on with that particular uh, analysis the only thing that we are uh, stopping ourselves from taking a position is that uh, we are taking a very small stop loss uh, rates so ideally we are looking out for a trade wherein we get a close below this particular uh, candle or a close above this particular candle being the outside bar this could prove to be a trend changer okay so this is the candle that needs to be watched out for the next two days uh, the safe traders we can take a position uh, in the upcoming week on monday itself the problem with uh, taking a position on monday is that if the trend is going to be reversed and if we are going to have a next uh, downside uh, fall then what we think is that uh, by thursday we will be hovering around uh, these levels of 16700 to that of 16600 if the trend is going to be down and if monday is going to be the next working day after thursday then there are chances that if the trend is down we could have a huge gap down 
then the entry point will be very difficult. So ideally what we suggest is that even if uh, we fail to close above this particular high, that is 16,927 on Thursday, we can look out for some kind of option play for the next week or by end of this particular March series. So uh, uh, look out for 16,950. If Nifty is not going to close above 16,950 on Wednesday as well as on Thursday, and if it is hovering around 16,700 to that of 16,800, instead of taking a shot in futures, try to get into some puts at the money or in the money puts. And we will decide how things will shape up in the upcoming weeks. Okay. So this, this candle, high and the low, 16,950 MC, 16,950 on the upside and 16,530 on the downside. So watch out for this particular candle and the reference point that I have just mentioned above. Wherever we are getting a close, that could be the ideal next, si next sideways trend. Either a breakout on the upside or the breakdown as per the analysis that we currently stick on to. Okay, this is with regards to the Nifty. Now let's move ahead with uh, the Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty, we didn't had a opportunity to get a shot. We were thinking that it will not be happening. The reason is like Bank Nifty looks much more bearish than what Nifty was looking at. So what, what ideally it happens is like, if you were to look at very closely, it didn't uh, close above this particular channel. It actually closed below this and it is actually staying with the current analysis. Only thing is like it gave an opportunity to go short in today's market. Uh, but, but probably I think that since the volatility and uh, the nature of the moment was upside, most of you would have missed this particular uh, day's action. So again, I'm saying that even though it, this is not an outside bar, I'm just going to take this particular as the reference, either the breakout or the breakdown. So these are the key levels. That is Tuesday's high and the low are the key levels. 35,650 on the upside or 34,700 on the downside. In case if we are going to get a close below 34,700, then again, we are looking out for approximately 2,000 to 3,000 points on the downside. On the other hand, if you are going to get a close above 35,650 on Bank Nifty spot, then we are looking for around another 2,500 to 3,000 point on the upside. Though we remain uh, with the original analysis that uh, breakout chances are very less, Though it is market, we need to give due respect for the market because ultimately the market is always right. So this is our analysis that Tuesday's days high and low will uh, give us a clarity on which side the market is taking a trend on for the next few weeks. Okay, this is it for this particular day. Uh, happy Holi. We'll get back on uh, Monday and uh, on 20, 21st of March 2022. Uh, we'll keep you posted in case if something is there because it's uh, going to be a long weekend. It's going uh, Thursday in case if something is there, I'll definitely inform you through the group so that you can take a position accordingly, either the uh, at the money or the in the money puts or the calls depending on the breakout. That we are going to see breakout or breakdown. Okay, this is it for this particular day. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay connected with us in the group. Thank you so much.